Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be testing the inverter that's built into the dashboard and into the bed of this 2021 Chevy Silverado uh, 3500 pickup. All right, before we get started, let's take a look in the owner's manual of this truck and see what it says about the power outlets in both the dashboard and in the bed of this pickup. All right, so here on page 98, it shows uh, where the locations of both of these outlets and shows a few things. So uh, one of the things that's important is that both of the receptacles in the dash and in the bed of the truck share the 400 watt uh, total load. Uh, it also shows where the switch is that turns both of these on uh, and it shows that it is uh, obviously has a protection system built in as well. Another important point to consider uh, that the owner's manual here says is that you shouldn't use uh, equipment with high initial peak wattage, such as a compression driven refrigerators and electric power tools, uh, which is pretty important, uh, or anything else requiring stable uh, power supply, basically. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test the inverter that's actually built into the dash of uh, this 2021 uh, Chevy Silverado. So what we're going to do, first I'm going to test the, uh, the receptacle of the outlet that's built into the dash. Uh, and uh, same format as with some of my other videos, uh, which I will post links to as well. Uh, we're going to use my uh, cheapo little AliExpress uh, oscilloscope uh, and we're going to watch the waveform. And I want to see what kind of waveform this thing will actually produce. Uh, so we're going to do that uh, and I'm going to run it through my same, uh, the same kind of setup as I did before. Uh, just a small doorbell transformer and really all this is for is to reduce the voltage, the input voltage of my oscilloscope is only of a uh, maximum 50 volts so we don't want to exceed that uh, this is going to drop the voltage down from 120 down to roughly 20 volts uh, which will put me in the safe range for this so i'm going to put a, a small load uh, on this inverter uh, the inverter built into the dash I'm gonna, i have a 100 watt light bulb uh, built into my cheesy little spotlight uh, that i found in my garage so we're going to put a small load into that and then we're gonna test the waveform and see what this thing looks like. Now, this truck has got some kind of cool features as a lot of newer vehicles do, especially pickups. This one actually has a power outlet in the bed of the pickup. So we're gonna go back and test that as well. Uh, but my expectation is that the output from this uh, plug on the dash and the output, uh, output from the plug in the bed is gonna be the same because according to the owner's manual, uh, the load, of these inverters uh, or of this built-in inverter is shared uh, so we're going to test those today uh, and see what they look like but my guess is that there's one inverter that actually powers two separate outlets in the truck so let's get going again i'll show you my my setup so i've got uh my doorbell transformer mounted on a board uh with a plug uh mounted to it just to make it a little more accessible uh, again my oscilloscope and let's do it so first, I'm going to put a doubler or tripler in the dash. Uh, I am going to plug in my doorbell transformer. And then I am going to plug in a small load. I got a 100 watt light bulb. Uh, so I'm going to plug that in just to see what the waveform looks like under load. And then I am going to hook up my small oscilloscope. So I'm going to put it connect it to the two pins on the doorbell transformer. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. And let's see what we got. So I need to turn on the ignition. There we go. Give that a second. I'm going to turn on my oscilloscope. And in order to turn on the power outlets or the power points in this vehicle, in this truck, uh, again, it's 2021 Chevy Silverado 3500, I need to push this button here, which is indicated uh, by the little plug uh, symbol on it. So I'm gonna turn that on. Awesome, and you can see my light kicks on, so we know the inverter's working. So let's take a quick look at my waveform. So definitely not a pure sine wave waveform, but I expected that with uh, how it's written in the, the owner's manual itself. Uh, it says not to plug in any kind of motors or refrigerators or anything like that. So this is my waveform. Um, under load, again, we got my light bulb going. Under load, we're running 
about 60 to 63 hertz and again I, I take this with a grain of salt it bounces around but it looks fairly stable at 63 hertz um, so that is uh, pretty much my waveform that's basically a square wave sine wave which uh, for anything that you would want to plug into this uh, generally a square wave is going to be fine you're going to be plugging laptop chargers uh, other kind of devices like that things that don't really matter basically devices that are just converting ac power like that kind of plug they're going to convert ac power back into dc like a laptop charger would anyways let's go out to the bed and we're going to test the receptacle in the bed and take a look and see what that waveform looks like but my guess is it's going to look just like this all right we're back in the back right hand corner of this the bed uh, again it's rated at 400 watts it says ac 120 volts maximum 400 watts right on the little cover here so we're going to plug this in again you see my light come on because i've still got the switch on on the dash which is perfect so let's take a look at the waveform and see what it looks like and just as I thought, we have basically the same waveform here, um, which is about what I figured. Uh, so likely, and if we did a little bit of, uh, if we found a wiring diagram, we could probably find that these were in fact uh, connected together. All right, so it's about what I expected. Um, you can see the waveform as I showed you a minute ago, uh, and it it's, looks pretty much the same as the one did in the truck. Again, I want to thank you for joining uh, and watching this video today. Uh, if you have one of these trucks, tell me down in the comments and let me know if, this, if you found this informative. Uh, or if you have any other vehicles that you'd like me to test and you found a power inverter or a power outlet in a vehicle, uh, tell me down in the comments if there's something else you want me to try. Obviously, I'm located in Canada, so you're going to have to, uh, you know, uh, work with me here. Uh, I only have access to North American vehicles. Uh, but uh, I, I plan on trying a few more, uh, you know, as my family and friends uh, let me test all of their vehicles and their inverters built in. We'll see how this works out. Again, if you found this video informative or you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Uh, and don't, don't forget to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Uh, that helps me keep, uh, stay motivated to continue to create content uh, that hopefully you guys will find interesting. Uh, again, I appreciate your time. We'll talk soon.